What's up everybody, this is Kirby Mary here and welcome to some more Until Dawn. So on the last video, we pretty much started off with Ashley and Chris, um, in which they were going to investigate the paranormal activity that was going on in the house, trying to find clues about what happened to Hannah and Beth, um, and we discovered a bunch of threats and ghostly really stuff until Ashley was taken by someone, which was the killer in general, and then the killer beat up Chris. And then we jump to Mike, in which he um, he, st he still can't believe that the killer took Jessica. And then we immediately started running to find Jessica. And we ran through the whole mountains practically to just find Jessica. And once we find her, we find her very effed up. Um, she can't barely move or anything. They must have given her pretty beat up or something. Um, and when Mike tries to approach Jessica, um, the elevator thingy breaks down. And Jessica plunges to her death. After that, Mike sees the killer upstairs, um, in which we try to follow until we get to him, but um, me and my stupid mistake of not pressing the rape buttons um, couldn't get to him in time. Mike um, discovers this other place where I think where the killer lives. There, are, By the way, yes, um, there are two different killers from what we know so far, and yeah. In which once again we wake up as Chris and we try to find Ashley. Um, when we go, when we try to look for Ashley, um, we find we went to this tiny little house where they have a bunch of disturbing things. And when we get there, um, some lights open up and we find Ashley and Josh tied up. Um, and there's this saw in the middle, in between them, in which. Um, this literally looked like the saw franchise for 5 seconds in which um, Chris had to make a tough choice in choosing who he was going to save. He was going to save his best friend Josh or the love of his life Ashley. In which we decided to save Ashley instead of Josh and so Josh just literally went bye bye. So yeah, I thought he would last longer but no, he, he didn't so yeah. I mean, I was suspicious of Josh in the beginning, but now he's, he's just gone. <laughs> Too far gone. In which then later on, um, Chris and Ashley find with Emily and Math, um, in which they tell them about what was going on. In which Emily makes the stupid decision, instead of staying with the group, to split up and try to look for help. Which I think is not going to end up well for both of them. And then and Chris and Ashley are going to go look, find Sam. She is in the shower. Let's do this. Alright, so we're here with Mike. And we found this place where one of the killers is. Because I know the other killer's in the house with the others. Awesome. Condemned. Why wouldn't I end up in the creepiest place on planet Earth? <laughs> yeah, yeah, no crap. Alright, alrighty. Well, let's just get in there. I, I'm pretty tense right now. I don't know what's gonna happen. We're just going to the lion's mouth already. Mike, you gotta be kidding me. Alright. I can't see a thing in this place. What the freak? Okay, so we need to go up there. Man, if only these characters can run, but they can walk fast. I see. Of course. They just want to make it so, like a horror movie. Alright, um. Okay. Where exactly? I can't see absolutely nothing in here. Um, oh, alright. There we go. What do we have here? Alright, let's push it. Alright, we did it. We saw something on the floor, so let's go check it out. Another totem. Great. What the... Oh my god, 
god, someone's gonna get their space smash! Anyway. Do, 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 do. Yeah, you see, Mikey. If you fall, I will punch you. I'll come through the screen and punch you. Alright. Let's just jump right in there. Oh. That's different. Yeah, Mike. Jesus, you look like crap. You're definitely gonna need a shower after this one. By the way, you could have just left the killer alone, call for help, not go revenge yourself because of Jessica. Um, anyway. Um. What are we watching? Oh my God! Oh my God! Please don't see us. Mike! Oh my god, the dog's left. Oh boy, this is not good. Mike, what are you doing? Okay, so we need something for that, but thank goodness. You're so stupid trying to open the door where the lion is waiting for us. Alright. What do we have here? There's something here. Let's see what is going on. The Blackwood Pine Sanatorium. Open 1922. Men's Sana Incorporesano. I don't know. Let's go here, I guess. Since this is um, one of those places we can go to. Um, yeah, let's explore. See if we can find anything. Um, can we sure we can't go through there? So it looks like we can. There's something there. I saw it brighting. Brighting like a diamond. A camera? What the? Broken camera? Okay, what does it say about the broken camera? Um, the lens of this camera is smashed. It looks like someone did this on purpose. Yeah, no, no crap. Thought they were gonna come in more on that. Let's keep going then. A paper. Um, huh. More clues. Let me read it. I want to read it. Um, old newspaper. Newspaper dated 1952 with a story about a reporter being banned from visiting a group of rescued miners. The reporter had his camera confiscated. The Alberta Post, 9th January 1952, reporter assaulted on Blackwood Mountain. Blackwood Pines, a reporter from the Alberta Bugle, was assaulted and hospitalized yesterday by security personnel at the Blackwood Sanatorium. Chuck Burstein, a senior news reporter, was seeking an interview with the miners dramatically. Rescue on Tuesday. The man had been trapped underground for over three weeks after a structural collapse at the Northwest Mine in December and are now being treated at Blackwood Sanatorium for malnutrition and trauma. Jefferson Bragg, sole proprietor of both the Northwest Mining Company and the Blackwood Sanatorium, told the Bugle yesterday that the incident was unfortunate and that, that a full internal inquiry Inquiry had been launched. He also claimed that Bernstein had been trespassing on sanatorium grounds without permission. It is believed that the assault arose from an argument about Bernstein's camera, which was confiscated immediately prior to the attack. Okay. Anything else in this place? Nope. Let's get out of here then. Um. Nothing here. We're gonna go to the lion's den then. Oh, there's another way in here. Let me see. What do we have here? More paper. It's raining time again. More clues. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. This is the one we found. Okay. 
Miners rescued from the mine were, were healthier than expected, although some have exhibited reintegration problems. Uh, minor medical report. Attending physician Dr. NF, NHF Bowen. Medical report. Report follows the initial state of the 12 miners after the collapse of the mine and subsequent rescue at Blackwood Pines. Admittance. On receipt of the 12 patients at the sanatorium medical facility, we had fully expected to find emaciated shells of men starved and confused. Thankfully, the miners appeared conjoined and relatively healthy, attributed to their apparent discovery of emergency food supplies in the mine. Inhibited respiratory function was detected in a few of the older men as predicted, as well as symptoms of phenomia. Psychologically, after being trapped for 23 days, the shock of reintegration has been difficult for some of the group. Though their outward health is better than expected, they do seem affected by their time in the mine. Treatment. Due to the delicate nature of some of the patients we have closed off the A-wing of the sanatorium, psychological relations will take place as soon as possible. The men with respiratory, respiratory problems have undergone a bronchocosp bronchoscopy and are prescribed as a course of the streptomycin. The others are simply kept under strict 24-hour observation. Signed, Dr. Nicholas Henry Foley's Bowen. Dang. This is, this is weird. So this place was, this place has a lot of story in it. And, the, and a killer lives in here. Oh boy. I'm scared. I don't want doggy to find me. Crap. Oh. A bird! <laughs> Woo! Let's open. No jump scares, please. Yeah. Oh, yes, we can take it. Yeah, give me that, baby. Yeah. Where do you exactly put it? <laughs> Anything else around here? What do we have here? This is scaring me so badly. Oh, there's something brighty in here. Don't jump scare, please. What the? Oh my god. Another clue found. Let me see. What does it say? Restraining chair. A chair with leather straps to restrain the patient. There's blood on it. It looks like it was used as part of a weird experiment. Holy oh, cow. Okay, I'm getting a little... I'm getting the creeps here right now. Let's just go. No, no, not that. Was it here where we were supposed to go? I don't know. Oh my god! By the way, there's a room here. Yeah, I don't want to find that dog as soon. I think... What's this? Another paper. More reading. Reply immediately. Reporters and other snoopers to be kept away at all costs. What does it say about this? Um, a telegram warning about press interest in survivors brought to the sanatorium. The mine owners were trying to cover up something. Um, Western Province Telecommunications, blah blah blah. Okay, I'm not gonna read this part because it seems not too important. Who wouldn't want press snooping around this paradise? Oh my god, what the freak? Found something. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Is this what he was feeding them? Let's grab it. Can we grab it? <laughs> ah! Oh my god! Your fingers break! <laughs> oh my god, that's how I got her in the ass. Oh, oh no, 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 doggy! Jesus! Oh my god! Mike, just get it out of the way! Let's amputate the fingers! Oh, oh, oh my god! Oh, Damn! Man, why the? 
Why did I set this trap up? Crap! Butterfly effect update, let's check. I haven't even checked the butterfly effects, let's see. <laughs> oh my god, I'm a little freak out. Be her hero. Blah 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 blah. Just like a resistance, Mike's advances. Whatever. Uh, Mike successfully chased after Jessica. Okay, we successfully did it. Chris said that she that he would save Ashley. We did save Ashley. At what price? Mike hacked off his own fingers. Mike still had a usable machete. Well, great. At least the machete is still usable. But damn, my fingers. Oh. To go. Okay. Oh my god, I am now I'm scared to touch stuff. What if I get my whole hand loose? Oh my god, what is that? Uh okay, clue found a strange skull. What does it say? A disfigured human head suspended in formaldehyde. Uh what else? There's something else over here. Oh my god. Are you serious? Now I gotta find a fucking Card. Yeah. Crap! I see we were dealing with stupid stuff as it is. What do we have here? Give me here. I want to see. There's absolutely nothing. Great! Oh, just a paper. Okay, that's that's fair. At least. Another clue. Name tag. Hold on, I want to see. Uh, okay, uh, I'm on t mortuary tag. The name on it reads Nicholas Bowen. Emergency medical tag. Name Nicholas Bowen tag. February 24, 1952. District description attack by in inmate. Fatal laceration to throw. Okay, crap. Oh my god, there's more stuff to open. Let's see what we got here. Next! Gimme. I want everything that's in store for me. <clears throat> More clues, I see what it said. Um, death certificate, a hastily written death certificate dated 24 February 1952 is described as the body partially eaten. What? Name of the C, Sarah Smith. Date of death, February 24, 1952. I hereby certify that I attend deceased from March 8, 1951 to 20 February 24, 1952, and last saw her alive on February, February 24, 1952. Cause of death, severe lacerations to the abdomen, intra abdominal injury, subsequent blood loss. If death was due to external causes, violence, fill in also the following. Accident, suicide, or homicide. Homicide, manner of injury, laceration by sharp implement, possibility, fingernails. Oh god. Additional noti notes, please use the box provided. What? I didn't understand that last part. Let's keep going then. What? There's a body in there this time. Oh my god. Are there gonna be zombies too? That's gross. Ew, rats. Ew. Sorry. We got the key. Anything else in here? Well, bye. No, I, I keep pressing the stupid button. Can you walk fast, Mike, or are your fingers still hurting? So, can we use the same one for the other one? Yes, we can. Thank you. At least we don't have to look for another one. Can we walk faster? Okay, I think we can. We're it's just a little weak from his fingers. Dang. Oh my god! Run! Run! Holy cow, holy cow, holy cow! 
Crap, 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 crap! Mike, come on! Oh crap, oh crap, oh crap, oh crap. <laughs> so tense! Okay, at least the dog won't come in. What was that? Oh god, we're too late. The killer just left. <sighs> Wasting my freaking time here. That's what I am doing. Alright, let's get out of here. Can we jump? Take it easy. You're pretty messed up, Mike. Back in here. Oh, okay, we made it. Uh, okay, that's fine. At least we didn't have to go all the way around. We did it. Let's get it. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. What? I'm not gonna punch the dog! Please stay calm. We can solve this in another way. Easy boy. Easy. Easy. God. Whoa, it's a miracle this dog didn't attack us. Let's see what else we got in store. Man, we were a little late anyway. The killer got away. Whoa! There's something shining! I hope it's candy. No, it's not. The stogie stash exposed. It's the same butt cigar from earlier, from the killer. All right. What do we have here? Can we open? What the? Oh. What have we got in store? Maybe this will keep the wolves fat and happy. Ooh, alright, so we, we're about to make this dog ours. Let's give the food to the doggy. He's gonna be my dog now, Mr. Killer. <coughs> Sorry. No, oh, please don't, please don't. Butterfly effect update. Let me see what it says. A man's best friend. Mike didn't kick the wolf. Mike made a friend. Really? Yeah, that's it. Yeah. It's okay. Cute little doggy. Easy boy. Easy. Aww. I'm so glad I didn't punch the dog. status update keep pressing the button by accident is there anything else in this place if not then let's go to the killer then we need something to open it what else do we need in this freaking place? Can we go here? Nope. Looks like we can go here, so let's see. What the heck? More clues. Let's see what it says about this. Um, a map of the mountain with sightings and recent disappearance marked with dates. It looks like the work of an obsessive mind. Holy cow. This thing looks like a freaking psycho. Anything here? Well, let's check the other side then. What about here? Is there anything we can get here? Oh my god. So, a jacket for me. Yeah, I mean... Uh, it may be the killer's jacket, but I know you might be freezing your butt out here. What the? <laughs> We can't reach that? What? Mike, you, this is a terrible idea. Oh, you lucky son of a... You know. Nice. 
Oh boy. Okay, so I'm gonna use this for shooting that stupid door. Let's go. Okay. Okay. Let's get going. We're gonna find you. And I'm gonna kick you in the butt. What do we have here? Let's go downstairs. I am very curious. What the freak? This place is huge! Let's just go, I guess. Oh man, I'm so scared of everything. What do we have here? There's something here. I want it. Of course. Locked. Alright. Put up. Okay. Let's get going. <gasps> it had gasoline! Mike! Mike! Get out of there, dude! Oh crap. Alright, so now we're Math and Emily. By the way, I never checked Math's relationship status. Um, okay, he's not too honest, he's quite charitable, he's not too funny, not too brave, not a romantic, and curious. Um, his relationship with Ashley is down, Chris is way more down, um, Emily still remains the same, and Jess too. Um, Josh is still okay. Mike um, we, they hate each other, and Sam, he doesn't like Sam either? Dude, what the freak? No wonder you're, you're, you're the world's biggest idiot. I can't believe Josh is dead. I can't believe how he died. No, I, I mean, what if they were wrong? What? Maybe we should have checked the shed to see if it was really true. I, I don't know. There are some things that once you see them, you can never unsee them. Yeah, I guess, but some things you have to see for yourself. I'll take that. All right. An axe. I feel better with an axe. Yes, let's take the axe. Clue found. Of course. An axe stuck into into the door and the cable car station definitely wasn't there before. Yeah, it's an update from this. Start smashing shit down. He's gonna hear us. Well, you got any better suggestions? I don't know. What about look. What? A window. That's great, Matt. I can just about fit my lip balm through that little slot. No, come on. You will never fit through there, big guy. Hmm. No, I'm gonna smash the door. Um, because okay, I don't want anything to happen to Emily, even if she's a b-word. I'm gonna just do it. Yeah, Matt. Okay, take take it out. Pull it. <laughs> Holy cow! Wasn't this where Chris and Sam went earlier? Emily, he can't make that jump. We'll figure something out, Emily. Don't worry. Everything Trust your Mario. Let's get it. Exactly what they were doing. Let's see. 
Ellie. Great. No keys, no cable car. Great. So, back to square one. Matt, we need another plan. We can't just sit around and do nothing. I know. We're gonna do something, alright. We need to... Okay, what's this said here? Very friendly. <sighs> Unfollow. Really, Emily? You gotta be freaking kidding me. What do we have here? Someone really did a number on this joint. Such a mess. This place was barely hey, in working condition before, Fire's and off. now... Huh. Maybe that old fire tower will have like a, a radio or a phone or, or something. It might. Well, it's not like we have any other options. Probably, yeah. Matt, we gotta get to that radio! Oh, God. It's not that I don't want to go to the radio, it's just that we're gonna distance ourselves. We're gonna get more people killed by accident. I don't want that! So we are going to head back. I don't care if Emily is... I kind of think that maybe we should get back to the lodge for now. I mean, everyone, everyone's been split up for so long. Yeah! For real, what is it with you and going back to the lodge? You just want to hide out in your room and cry. What? No. Emily, you be word. Don't be a pussy. We gotta do this, Matt. Fine. Fine. Whatever you say. Stupid. I know I we became more charitable and less brave, but freak that. We gotta look over our butts. By the way, I saw a butterfly effect happening. On the same page, Matt resisted Emily's plan to go to the fire tower. I'm sorry, but it is the truth. Emily just wants to get us killed. Alright, so I think I'm gonna call it an episode here. Um, so many insane things that just happen in the moment and everything, but if you guys enjoyed this, then be sure to give it a like. If you want to continue on this adventure, then be sure to subscribe, and I'll see you.